Scalia's death will have huge ramifications on the Supreme Court in coming months. Chief legal correspondent Shannon Bream goes down the list tonight. The stakes could not be higher this year in the Supreme Court. Justice Antonin Scalia's sudden death leaves the Supreme Court with a gaping hole in the middle of a term jam-packed with hot-button issues. The timing throws everything into a state of uncertainty. First to consider what happens to the cases the court has already heard, privately voted on, but has not yet publicly released an opinion, including disputes over voting rights, affirmative action, and a key case on whether public school teachers in California can be forced to financially support a union they want nothing to do with. There are a lot of cases that the court had reached a tentative decision on that now they will have to go back and see if the loss of Justice Scalia changes the outcome. There were cases that no doubt had been assigned to Justice Scalia to write the opinion, which will now need to be reassigned. And of course, in some cases, the loss of Justice Scalia could mean that the outcome will change. For cases that wind up locked in a tie without Scalia's vote, the Chief Justice could announce the cases will be held over, even reheard once the bench is back to being fully staffed with nine justices. Or, if the court issues a tie decision, it simply leaves the lower court ruling in place. There are also critical cases the court has yet to hear, including one challenging restrictions the state of Texas has placed on abortion clinics. A case brought by religious groups fighting against being forced to comply with Obamacare's contraceptive mandate. And the multi-state challenge to the president's use of executive action on immigration. These big cases are coming up before the court and there will only be eight justices to hear them, which makes it harder for the court to really do its business as usual without a new justice being confirmed. Court watchers expect that Chief Justice John Roberts will take his time deciding what to do on a case-by-case -case basis. The court was already scheduled to meet in a private conference this Friday and is set to begin hearing a new round of cases one week from today. Brett. Shannon, thank you.